Hey YouTube, Harry once again with another DIY video for you guys today. Today we are going to be using our Ellie Tech gauges that we got the other day. I want to thank Ellie Tech for sending them out to us for us to review and make this video for you. To me this is a very important video because a lot of times when I see these digital gauges, or most of the time, if not all the time, I see people that do AC work using them. But I rarely see anybody that does regular refrigeration, home refrigeration, or commercial. Um, everybody kind of uses the regular analog yellow jacket um, charging manifold gauges, which there's nothing wrong with. I've used them for a very long time, and they're great. But there's a lot of advantages to using these LE Tech. So I just kind of wanted to put them side by side. Um, we already did an unboxing. And I'm gonna show you so I don't have any new hoses for them So I just wanted to show you that we're gonna use the same hoses that we have on the yellow jacket And that of course saves some money because this is a very good buy for you guys And I had a chance to use it a couple times this week and I was very impressed So I want to show you guys today. So let's get it open up again and put together and we're gonna show you All right All righty so a couple things I wanted to show you on this. Um, the display is on the smaller side, in my opinion. But I'm going to show you how it makes up for that. But anyways, sorry, I'm not using a tripod, so it is shaking a little bit. Hopefully it doesn't shake like this when I review the video. But anyways, it has the power button right here. When you press it, you press it to turn it on, and then when you press it again, it turns on the Bluetooth. So what that does, let me see. You open it up, and it'll appear right here. See DMG-4B. Click on it to connect. Now you have the regular style gauges right here, but it also has in digital format right here. Right now it's reading zero because obviously we don't have it connected. Let's see, what I like about it, it has the evaporated temperature and it has the condenser temperature. So these are very important. And then you can calculate with these information, you can calculate uh, the superheated subcoin. Also with, the, with this, right here you see we're using 134a if you click on here and it has all the refrigerants that you can a lot of different refrigerants and they're in order so for example we have four 10a um, we passed up R22 because that was in the beginning. Let's see. It has all these different refrigerants that if you work on, you can use, obviously, with this. It even has um, the new one for the cars, the... R one two three four YF right here, and what you do is if you check on the mark box right here, see the little check mark that and save. So next time you come in here, if you go into favorites. See right there, you see one R34, A, R22, R11, R12. And see how it has a R600. So these are the ones that I mark kind of as favorite. That way, you know, they're easy to come by. But we're using 134. See now it's at 134A. So that's how you change that so also it has a 
a graph. You can do take a screenshot of what you're um, working on. If you want to save a number, you can create your own report name, the address of where you're working at for the re refrigerator or whatever you're working on, and notes, and save. Right now it wants me to enter a title. Um, report, settings, and this actually records if you do here. See right here it says, are you sure you want to start recording? So if you're working on a refrigerator and you're monitoring pressures, you can set it to record and it'll record to your phone um, what, you know, how the pressures are changing and everything. So very excited for this. And so let's get started. We're going to hook it up today to this um, LG refrigerator. It's actually pretty dark in here. Sorry. Um, but we're going to hook it up to this LG refrigerator. There's nothing wrong with the refrigerator. I just wanted to use this one just because this is the one I have available right here. Um, so we're going to take some pressures and some readings and and show you what it looks like. All right. Go. All right. So basically now that we've got the hoses on, so you turn it on. Then you press the power button once and it'll give you the Bluetooth icon right here. That'll allow it to talk to the phone through your Bluetooth. Click on it right here. And that's how you connect it. So, but I got ahead of myself. Usually what you want to do is connect it first before you turn it on. So let's start over. This refrigerator, uh, we have a high side and a low side. So we're going to be able to hook up both of our hoses. So once again, you turn it on. Press one time for your Bluetooth. You got it there. It shows up here. That's it there. Now it's telling me that my high side is at 112. And apparently my low side is at negative 9. Your evaporator says negative 55.1 and your condenser process your condenser is at 91.9 so here um, it's under charge okay so this is how you would read this now if you wanted to like I was saying before you can do a screenshot, you name it, uh, let's name it, say LG, and blah, 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 blah. save, and it creates a PDF report of the screenshot, and you can also record. So it does a recording of what your pressures are okay okay all right stop it stop and save the data you can stop and save and it saves it and you can click reports and there is your report for this let's see okay 
okay and like I was saying before this if you click on the down arrow right here it gives you all the different refrigerants this is what I marked as favorites so you don't have to go around looking for I marked down R11 R12 R13 R134 R22 290 R32 404A 407C 408A 409A 410A um, 448 449A and so on up to R600A um, it allows you to save 18 of your favorite or most commonly used um, in here and just if you need something else that's not in here then it has them in here where you can come in and choose what you want and save also um let's see it has where you can set the temperature units for example fahrenheit or celsius um alarm settings um and the pressure hold if you are um doing a a pressure test you can tell it what pressure you want it and what you're looking for save it um vacuum function it says here buy now but um i don't see anywhere to buy it um and then you can also do up you know if you need an update right now it's telling me i need to update the, the software but anyways that's how you use it um what i was saying earlier it has a sight glass so it's very helpful to see the the refrigerant when it goes through if you're doing charging on the high side um overall i really like it um i used it a couple days ago and um it worked really good i was able to charge the system by pressures because it does give me the condenser temperature so it was very very helpful so if you guys work on refrigeration this is the one to buy if you want like i said it's a very economical price right now they have it on sale there's going to be a link in the description if you need to purchase one you'll get five dollars off i'm also going to put another link that i have found where it'll save you ten percent of the price and plus five dollars off and if you click on my link you, you get five dollars off i'll get five dollars off hope this helped and what i wanted to show you for example here just before we go um it shows here it's showing negative 12 and 96 and if you look here closely negative 12 96 so it's showing the same um, pressures as over here um, I prefer to do it on my phone this is a little bit small for me but it works but like I said I prefer to do it on my phone because it's easier um, you can change all the refrigerants and look for it in here with the mode and with the arrows and you can record and pause and do all that stuff here personally I find it more convenient to just turn it on turn the Bluetooth on use the app and everything is right here that way it's a hundred percent better in my opinion so if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment below questions comments leave below and if you haven't subscribed this is the first time you're here don't forget to like subscribe and we'll be using this in the coming days and upload a couple more videos and show you how good it is it's going to be a very useful tool Thank you guys for watching. See you next time.